I see when I'm ready to stream That gaming can take me away Driving the car or fighting that creature of the night like a dream Take me away, I'm in a fantasy stream In the game that is so extreme Racing my mind, Ashton streams from all time Cause baby she's ready to stream I'm turning the PlayStation off there friends how's everyone flipping doing hope everyone's having a good day welcome to another stream with me ashton this time on a wednesday yeah been a while eh oh yeah here we go here we go live laugh love wednesdays with ashton stream time hi ashton how are you how was your weekend looking forward to this fun stream today hope you are having a wonderful day Thank you so much for the blips, Stephen, and to the Will of Phil for subscribing during the intro. Sorry, I didn't come up. Um, hello. Uh, I am. I had a good weekend, thank you. I had a busy weekend. I am tired. <laughs> I am tired. But it's okay, because I had a lovely weekend. Um, it was our last show on Saturday night, and then we had the post-show party that went on until 4 a.m. And then at 9 a.m., my boyfriend and I drove to Scarborough to see my family. Uh, they don't live in Scarborough. They were just visiting Scarborough. So I saw my mum for Mother's Day and uh, I played some board games, drunk some wine. It was a lovely weekend all in all. Had a lovely time. Um, how was everyone else's weekend? Thank you for gifting a sub, Stephen, to Coolie Woolly. Um, how did the performing the performing from the boys was like totally fine i honestly the audience on thursday which when the boys came to see it was like the best audience we had all week so they were really really loud uh not just the boys everyone was but it was really it was good uh, i didn't get to see them afterwards though i didn't see them until yesterday but they said they enjoyed it and i would assume that they're not lying to me so call that a win in my book but yeah it went really well thank you it was fun. I'm still tired. Still so tired. I'm just about recovering now from last week. I ended up taking Friday off. And I also had Monday pre-booked off anyway. But but yeah, it was good. It was good. The show went well. Um, I have a bruise on my knee. But that's fine. These things happen when you're as clumsy as I am. But yes, I had a lovely time performing and it was great. So... Is that like a concert where you say you're the best, you were the best crowd we ever had to every crowd? No, no, actually it wasn't. Uh, Thursday was the loudest crowd. Friday was the longest clap that we got, which is good. And then Saturday was closing night. So everyone left everything out on the, on the stage and it was brilliant. Um, it was really good. On the bad, I got the good one. The good one. So they kind of match now. I can show you actually. So this is my bad leg. There's my scar there. You might not be able to see it because the bruise has gone down now. And then this is my good leg. Oh, you can't really see it on the, on the stream. But there, that's a big bruise. <laughs> that's all bruise from, um, from falling on it. But I was supposed to fall on it. I just fell on it slightly too hard one day and um, grazed it. But it's all good now. All good now. No more falling for me for the foreseeable future. Probably we'll eventually have to fall over again on purpose or not, we'll find out. But yes, it went well, thank you everyone for asking. Today we are playing some Hotel Renovator. Um, we got this code, so per basic guidelines, it's now technically an ad, even though no money was exchanged, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Um, playing some Hotel Renovator, so we're gonna open a hotel and we're gonna open Triple Jump Towers B&B Welcome in some guests and have a great time. So let's flip in, jump into it, shall we? Ashton took break a leg a bit too seriously. Well, my boyfriend, Jesus, that's loud. Flipping heck. Um, my boyfriend said that he wasn't gonna say break a leg to me at any point because um, I have a reputation. 
you know. Right, we get to pick a pal. We can have Yumiko, Max, V101, or Sandra. I kind of want the robot. Let's go with the robot. So we're going to play the story mode for now because I don't know how to play this game. Also, I'm sorry I'm going to be looking over here today. Normally I put the game on this monitor, but it doesn't seem to want to do that today. So that's fine. Um, celebrate my oldest girl's birthday. Oh my gosh. Can, happy birthday to your oldest daughter. We don't go to the mall, her request, and went to build a bear and got a pink axolotl. Sick. Oh, we love axolotls on this channel. With outfit and smells of strawberries. Cool. Well, happy eighth birthday to little, little Ricky Ricardo. Junior. Raquel Ricardo. Harper. Oh, that's a really cute name. That's a great name. That is a really cute name. Love. 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 Here we are. Triple jump towers. Looks just as I would imagine it to look. Chicken! It looks like we have an uninvited guest. Let's show her who's boss here. Catch her. Oh. Well, now I have a chicken. I didn't think you'd be able to do it, to be honest. Now we have to get rid of her. Throw her out the window in the hallway. She'll like the big city. Be free, chicken. The hotel is in disrepair. We need to put a lot of work into it. And yet, we already have guests waiting to stay here. So let's get the first room ready. Okay. Do I, uh, room 101. Oh, maybe this way. 102, 101, right. Oh, this place is horrible. All this stuff. Let's earn some money on this old painting. What? Oh. We've got 100,000 buckaroos. And don't hold yourself back. How do I... Okay. Hold this and then... Gotcha. Out. Get out. Away. Horrible furniture. Whoops. Oh, I am supposed to remove the... Whoa! I'm like the Hulk. Get flipped. Hook-a-chow. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, if in doubt, just smash it all up. What's the worst that can happen? Get out of here. Can't help but feel like I'm doing more damage than good, but hey. I'm just doing what I'm told. And what I'm told was to destroy everything! Hey, Jack. Thanks for subscribing. Renewing your subscription. Um, for 52 months. Ahoy hoy, Ash and the gang. Hope you're all well in the final preparation for Japan trip in April, which may or may not involve getting gifts for people who jump. <gasps> I jump. Sometimes. Um, so related to that, I wanted to see if there was anything you would like while I'm in Weebland. Whether gaming related, cat related or otherwise. Oh, I don't know. Nothing comes to mind. Uh, I like trying new snacks. And I like ramen, but don't feel like you have to get me anything. Along don't feel like you have to get me anything full stop. But if you are going to get me something i would i'd love a surprise that would be cool surprise me my friend yeah. and thank you for getting for getting this thinking of getting me some stuff that's very exciting S smash smash Smash. Damn it. Very well. Surprise it is. I cannot wait. Thank you very much. I don't know if I'm supposed to be smashing the ceiling off, but we're doing it. 
Huh. Huh. That's right, anime body pillow. That's secretly what I wanted to say, but I was being um I was being like really coy about it. We already have one of those in the cupboard though, and I don't want her to get jealous. What's this? Smash or pass? Nah, just smash just smash, mate. Boff. Boff. Get out of here. Stuff I don't want. <sighs> that is true. It is Andrew's. Andrew's girlfriend who lives in the cupboard. Oh. Huh. Can you get an Emily Prentice anime body pillow? Oh my god. You should be able to. Do you know what's so funny, right, about doing this play? So... Whenever I say like, oh, Paget Brewster, no one ever knows who I'm flipping talking about. But while I was in this play, one of the girls just brought up without me bringing it up when, oh, I really love Paget Brewster. And I said, what are you saying right now? Huh? And I was very excited. It was like oh my, a real kindred spirit moment for me because I was, I couldn't, be, I couldn't believe her my luck. Is that th is, it was a bit of a theatre kid moment, but we might start a fan club. I said, well, I have a, car a tiny cardboard cut out of her that lives on my desk. And she said, please send me a picture. And then when I did, she was like, that's very cool. And no one's ever said that about my tiny Paget Brewster cut out. Everyone always says, who's that? And then I feel, feel as though I have to explain to them who it is. But she knew. She knew who it was. The luckiest girl around. Is that everything? Apart from this massive patch of ceiling I've left. Huh? What else needs getting rid of? Box? Maybe these. There is a lot of rubble on the floor after all that mayhem you caused. You've got some cleaning up to do. Ah, oh, I wish real life let me do this. Just get rid of everything in one sweep. Look, the last bit, last bit of pattern off. Put a bedstead in and you're ready to open for business. Exactly. Perfect. Triple jump towers. Now, it's time for a new floor and walls. Choose something modern and tasteful. Oh, I left some flooring on. Modern and tasteful, that's my middle name. Right. Choose a tool and use the mouse wheel to select coverage style. You can switch between color and color palette. Hold. Right, okay, got it. Right, we want to want to do walls first. Maybe maybe a nice wallpaper. Oh. Oh, what? I think I've got a bit. I think I don't understand the drawing situation. Put 
positively baffled by by that, but hey, it worked. So, and then maybe we'll just paint the rest of the walls. What color? Maybe we'll go with. Color. Maybe this green. This green tip pukey, but you know, whatever. We've committed now. We're committed to the puke green. We've committed to the puke green, therefore we must stay committed to the puke green. Sometimes you choose puke green and you just have to stick it out, you know? I guess it's not as pukey as initially thought, but hey, it's pukey enough, I would say. We shall call this the vom room. The puke is fine. <laughs> what kind of pencil is that? It's um, it's my magical pencil. It's like from that SpongeBob movie slash episode or can't, was it a movie it must have been an episode with that weird little drawing spongebob okay the puke green isn't as bad as previously thought but it's still it's still pretty awful unfortunately for for whoever's gonna have to stay in this room. I can't be asked to get another color out, so it's puke green forever. Okay, puke green it is. Now we'll do the floors. We'll put some carpet down. I kind of just want... What's your pukiest colour carpet? Oh, that's pretty gaudy, isn't it? Maybe we'll just go for white. I'm really thinking about this, huh? What's wrong with that bit of floor? That bit of wall? I don't know. I don't know. Delightful. I bet the basement would look lovely in puke green as opposed to being covered in actual puke. Well, if you could keep what happens in there to yourselves, that would be preferable, thanks. Right, ceilings. We're just gonna paint it white. Oops. Colour it in, colour this bad boy in. What bit of the wall isn't paint? Oh, the bathroom. I forgot about the bathroom. Oh, 
I've got to be honest, I've stayed in worse looking hotel rooms than this already, and um, it's not even done yet, so, you know, swings and roundabouts. Does it look bad? Yeah. Is it the worst one I've ever personally seen? No. Therefore, could be worse. One thing about my my place, it's never going to be the most aesthetically pleasing place. Not by a long shot. Because I do not know what aesthetically pleasing even really means. Lovely shiny tile. God, that is well shiny. Walls. What colour should we do the bathroom? A nice tile. Funky tile? Yeah, let's go with a funky tile. Oh, God. Imagine waking, waking up, you're hungover, and you look in the bathroom, and it's that colour. Crazy. Oh, yeah, you've got to have a bit of puke green coloured tile. Perfect. One puke green tile, please. Horrible. No notes. It's almost as bad as all my... Uh, Houses and a house flipper, they always looked like crap by the end of it. Perfect. Yay. The most pleasant part. The most pleasant part. Let's start with beds. Guests need something to sleep on, after all. Accent wall. <laughs> we'll also need chairs and a nice little table so the whole room's appealing to look at. What are you trying to say? What are you, what are you trying to say, Mr. Benson? What is what is wrong with my flipping? How do I do furniture? What's wrong with this hotel room? Slagging it off. It's a lovely hotel room. Some Yeah, okay, some of it is potentially puke coloured. But hey, what isn't nowadays? That table is too big. Is there bedside tables? Oh, this is the bedside table. Well, it doesn't match. Close enough. Eh, right. We need some chairs. Put them over here. Actually, let's do a sofa first because that feels like it's going to take up the most room. Look, it's puke green. Same colour as the walls. Delightful. Maybe we do it against this wall. Blends in so perfectly, it's not in the middle. Eh. Beautiful. <laughs> This room's flipping massive. Anyway. Don't get distracted by how massive this room is.
No, not that. Where is the puke green colour? Not quite that one. There we are. Perfect. We're running out of table. Who wants a table this big in your... Flipping hotel room. What are you doing? Holding business meetings in it? I'm really concentrating. Some chairs. There we are. Puke chairs. The puke chairs. Delightful. Right. And we need... Okay, then what else do I need? Some shelves. These horrible shelves. Sure. <laughs> oh, and they need a coffee table as well. Don't have to think about what kind of people want a room where the sofa faces the uh, the table, but hey, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Ba ding! Lovely. Now for the bathroom, and then we're good to go. Okay. Right, we need a bathtub just your standard one bung that bad boy in the corner shower I personally prefer something like that because it's more room for movement more room for activities you know piss press the wrong button I have a work, my work related question, working on a potential podcast episode on why we're obsessed with crime. As someone who loves criminal minds and true crime, what is it that draws you in? Mm. I'm not as into um, true crime as some people are. I much prefer my crime to be entirely fictional. I think the reason I like it, the reason I kind of, because I don't like every crime type of TV show. Like I don't like, every single iteration of a crime show like i don't like all the criminal minds is i think i'm more drawn to the the people in it if i'm being honest like i i'm kind of like well you know if someone else was in this show i wouldn't be as interested in it um i don't think anyway so i guess for, for me the thing that draws me is the the characters but that might not be very useful to you. I could make something up if you'd like. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah. Oh, they wanted another cabinet. This room is missing some final touch. Add some cool lights, paintings, and standing decorations. I am drawn in by the MILFs, it's true. Probably won't surprise to most, but nearly 25% of top 450 podcasts currently are true crime. Absolutely. Like, I'm not surprised by that at all. People love true crime. But I also think people like true crime because... I think partially it's like an inane curiosity, isn't it, of like what 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 is happening and why did it happen what is the reason for things like this to have happened i think part of it is curiosity but i also think part of it is like an, an innate sense of being like how do i stop this from happening to me but i also don't know Piss. Some sconces. Eh. Right, plant. Paint in. Yes. I hate clocks that tick, like with a burning passion. Because I, they, um, I can't sleep when they're in the room. I used to lock um, my alarm clock that my parents got me in the uh, in a drawer because I found the clock so difficult to sleep with. And they used to come in and be like, "Why is the clock?" And I was like, "In the drawer. It was making too much noise." And they did not understand. Excellent. If your design is ready, you can make the room available for the guests. All right. We can have our first guest at Triple Jump Towers. Beautiful. What a beautiful room. Lovely. Ah, oh, yes, the Hexagon Shrine. Exactly. I like unsolved true crime like D.B. Cooper and the unsolved airjacking case in the... The only unsolved airjack hijacking case in U.S. history. Aww. Cool. Our first guests have just checked in and they look satisfied. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> Check out the booking app. Booking app. Booking. Every room has a cleanliness 
splooge level. When the guests leave, this level goes down. Got it. Guest satisfaction, smiley face, depends on the cleanliness, the splooge level of the room and other influencing factors. Keep them happy. Okay. Right. So, is there somebody? Hotel name will go here. Okay. Interesting. So have I done that now? I should probably get out of the room, eh? Hey, I found a letter addressed to us. Looks like Grandpa left it. Come and check it out. Grandpa? Oh, hello, sir. Ignore all of the stuff on the ground. I wonder if I can... Can I go in his room now? He's in there. What do you think, sir? Did you like it? Are you enjoying your stay? Should I stay here, R Rivato? Or is that the chair? That's the chair. That's not his name. I thought his name might be Rivato, but that's the shape of the chair. Huh. Huh. What's happening here then? Can I hit him with the crowbar? Oh, I did. I should have tried that really, shouldn't I? Right, ground floor. Mr. Rovato to me, yes. How could I be so rude? Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hello, funny robot man I forgot works here. You could at least clean up, mate. Like, where's this letter from Grandpappy? I personally, if I walked into a hotel and all the furniture was floating, I would not stay here. God, it's so, it's so intrusive when it does that. It makes me feel sick. It's fine, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I found the letter now. <laughs> Dear kids, welcome to my hotel. I hope you'll have fun returning it to its former glory. You'll be surprised what you might find at the end of the road. Enjoy the journey, Roy Bennett. I was right. This letter really is from our grandpa. Our and grandpa? Can make him proud. Our grandpa? Me and this robot are related? Our grandpa? I read it. Oh. We are level one hotel. Wait a second, robo cousin? Are we a robot? Maybe we're a robot. That's such a good point. Jesus Christ. Look at all the stuff we've unlocked. Wow. We should theme all of our rooms. What should be the next theme? Should I make Here a chrome go. room? Let's pick a name for this place and start working. Yes, let's. What did I just get rid of? Okay. The name of the the logo shall be this one and his triple jump towers B and B. Oh, just triple jump towers then. Can't make it a B&B, &B, unfortunately. There we are, triple jump towers. What? Go to room 103. Oh, buddy. Oh, good evening. My name is Vlad Romanescu. I am staying the night and I have a few modest requirements. I like silence and if I am disturbed, well, let's say I can get rather hot-blooded. Light irritates my eyes, so I need some dark curtains and please remove any mirrors. Okay. Saturday night fever is here. Let's renovate the old pirate. Oh my god. Uh, please! I don't like spending time in 
nature an indoor garden on the rooftop would be a perfect relaxation spot for a hotel okay can i look hold on hold on hold on does vlad like impaling chicky chicky <laughs> Whoops. I do keep smashing the floor up a little bit, but hey. Sometimes these things happen, you know? Imagine you're staying at a hotel and then someone's just outside in the hallway at 3 a.m. hitting things. Are you having a nice stay, sir? A nice, relaxing, quiet stay. I do hope so. If anyone disturbs you, just let me know, all right? Right. One or two. Do a quick, everything a quick sweep. Right. Time to make this room vampire friendly. Luckily, all the furniture already floats, so. Get rid of that mirror. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Honestly, my granddad kind of stitched me up leaving this hotel to me. Because, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's an absolute flipping mess. By the way, you know who came up with the Sheep Biter 69 graphic in the latest Hunky Boys video, Hunky Video Game Boys list? I haven't laughed so hard in ages. That, I think, it was probably Kieran. Kieran did some cursed things with that uh, list, and I, that's probably one of them. If it was in Hunky Boys, it was all Kieran. Can claim no responsibility for that. None of us can. Kat wrote it, and Kieran edited it. We simply cringed our way through saying it. So this be a red color? I guess we could make it a red colored room, yeah. This is the red room. The next one will make our chrome sci-fi room. If we're allowed. If. It is giving Gmod with the the crowbar, you're right. <laughs> a red room, it's better not be a four twenty situation. Of course not, of course not. I love that I'm fully knocking stuff down, like, right next to where that guy's staying. I wonder if I can go into his room now. Where is he? Oh! Oh! A lady! Oh, sorry! Sorry, miss! Something's different in there. Something's different about you, sir. What is it? Wearing the same outfit. I think this is a. I think this is some kind of body swappers situation.
Maybe she's a drag queen and that's just her out of drag. Or drag king. Or maybe maybe that's him in drag. Who will, who knows? It could be a shapeshifter. So guests are not allowed to have additional guests to stay overnight. No, that's true. She, she should be paying extra, actually. Double guests, double money, baby. We should support slash congratulate. No, I'm, I know we shouldn't sneak in on them. I, I just went to see if they were all right and needed any help and uh, they seemed fine. So, you know, good for them. I wonder if I can, can I upgrade this yet? I have to progress in the story, I see. Never mind. I wanted to be quicker and better at things. Do you guys remember I Justine, the YouTuber? I think pretty sure she still does like tech reviews. In fact, I know she does because she did that weird metaverse meeting thing. I saw a video of that the other day of her, and I was like, that's I Justine off of YouTube from way back when. Well, the only reason I bring her up is because I've been watching NCIS, uh, not NCIS, Law and Order SVU. And she uh, played a dead body in that. Like she played a, a woman who got murdered in that. And she was also, and I remember this from way back in the day, watching one of her videos, and then okay, the episode came up on my when I was rewatching Criminal Minds a few years ago. She was also a dead body on Criminal Minds, and I think she just did the rounds on crime shows for a bit, and now she just does like tech, tech stuff. And do you know what? Good for her. Good for her. I heard a cat. I think I was wrong. They killed I Justine twice? Yeah. I think she used to be friends with like Shane Dawson back in the day as well. She's like Lady Linus. <laughs> I used to watch her when she did like skits and stuff and then she just was like reviewing iPhones. It was like a whole thing. Which is like, yeah, good for you, go, go off sis. You review those iPhones. I have a hard time versus she's such an Apple fan girl. Yeah, exactly. I think that's why I unsubscribed because I think at the time when I subscribed to her, she was doing just like regular YouTube videos. And then she just one day came on and was just reviewing an iPhone. And I was like, I'm confused. 
I thought you made funny internet videos and now you're talking to me about the latest iPhone. And I don't have an iPhone. She was in Sharknado 4, was she? Can't say I've ever watched a Sharknado. But good for her. Uh -huh. Yeah, she did loads of acting stuff by the sounds of things. Like she just kind of pops up here and there. But she played two different on two different TV shows. She played a woman who had been murdered. Oh, I found a golden egg. A hundred thousand. Oh. Okay. Right. Right, we're going red with this one. Let's paint it first. Let's do the walls. What do I want? Steampunk wallpaper? No. Not that. Halloween wallpaper? Bat! That'll make him feel really at home, won't it? Well, I can have a wall of bats, red bats. Oh no, black bats would be better, wouldn't it? He said, this is a room for the vampires. And then just paint it red. Perfect. It's frickin' bats. Whee. Why am I concentrating so hard? Like, what is actually the reason? Oh my god, maybe we'll do like a spooky forest on one wall of the other room. Like, Twilight vibes. Twilight core. Oh, I've got some paint it in shades of black slash red. Good for, good for us for doing that without even being asked slash noticing that that was what it asked me to do. Kind of blood forest. Ooh, spooky. Yeah. Haunting! A haunting blood forest. Cool. God, this room would give you an aneurysm. Hey! 
Hi, Tetrueo. How's it going? Thanks very much for the, the kind words, my friend. Went to school with an aneurysm. Very good. Oh, I've not got my... Went to school with jumper on. I've, I don't know if I mentioned this on stream already or not, but the other week I was um, at rehearsal with that play. I don't know if I mentioned it enough yet. And one of the guys was like reading my back. I was like, do we were doing a line run? So we were just going through all of our lines and I could just hear him like giggling behind me. And I was like, oh, what's going on? I turn around and he's like, I've just spent the last like five minutes looking for your name on your back because our names aren't on it. And, um, and I couldn't find it. And then I realized that all the names were like made up names <laughs> and none of them are real. And I was like, what do you mean? I went to school with all these people and he's like, what? And I'm like, no, I didn't, obviously. But he was properly like looking for my name and he couldn't find it. And he proper, proper cracked me up. I was like, yeah, I'm not on it, you goober. So don't be alarmed if our names aren't on it. And people may read it to see if they can find your name. But just remind them it's not there. Sorry, I'm a real person with no silly name, exactly. My name's not quite silly enough to be on there, I'm afraid. I was looking for Maya name. Shut up. Also, where did you think you'd left? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the other day I was running in front of my boyfriend and he asked me where. He was looking at me and he was like, what have you left? What did you leave? Because the one I had was 2023. It's, it's the, the like, collector's edition version where there's only like three of them um, because we changed it to 2024. But it was like, what did you leave this year? And he was fully trying to figure out. And I was like, nothing, it's merch. And he was like, oh, I see. Right. Oh, I've got to, got to do ceiling as well. No. Kawaii ceiling. I bet I'll love this. Just like cats all over the ceiling. Mm. Maybe that's the only black there is. This room is so modern. Very modern, isn't it? It's very, it's very good. I think is what the what you're looking for there. It's very good.
Eh. I think the blood forest is very spooky. Spooky blood forest is spooky. Designing an entire hotel room just for one guy. Absolutely crazy behavior. That's what you get here at Triple Jump Towers. Personalized experiences. And James Jenkins sing singing Limp Biscuit in the hotel bar. Down with minimalist decor. I enjoy the borderline hoarder decor. Exactly. More furniture is better. Wobble, wobble, wobble. All these different shades of black. So annoying. All games do that. There's no consistent shade of black. Drives me flipping mental. Speaking of clothing... I was taken aback and delighted the three of you wearing your best friends and colleague t-shirt I got you in the last hat appeal one of the latest weirdest games ever wasn't expecting it but it made my day um, also like the bit you did about them in the beginning as well ah oh, well thank you so much for them we, we specifically decided to wear them because we thought they were very funny so thank you for getting them for us mine sometimes comes like around in the wash because I wear a lot of the t-shirts people get me I wear them around the house because I'm not a t-shirt wearing kind of gal most of the time. So sometimes I'm just walking around the house wearing a t-shirt that says Peter's best friend on it. <laughs> and Ben's like, oh, hello. And I'm like, oh, sorry, just wearing my, uh, my Peter's best friend t-shirt. No need to worry. Right. How do I add curtains? Oh, here.
T-shirts are too long. You're right. I also just don't think T-shirts are very good on me. I just don't think I suit a T-shirt. I fixed the one white tile. Don't worry about it. I wonder if we can sort of red bathtub with a red interior. Oh, good idea. Well, let's sort this room out first and then we can figure that out. If I was a vampire, what was my what would my bed sheet look like? I don't like the wood, but I don't really know how to change the wood. So, hey, we'll stick with it. What do I like? I like this one, but I don't know how to... Is there a way to change this? Doesn't look like there is. Um, well, out of place bed it is then. Out of place bed it is. If I was a vampire, what kind of sofa would I like? It's kind of a cool one. This one. This. Was that tall one gone? That felt like the one that would make the most sense. What pattern is this? Why can I not have this pattern in flipping? Fine, fine. I can't make, I can't make the match. Tis the biggest disappointment of my life. None of it matches! It's okay, Ashton. It's okay, nobody will make a fuss. Nobody will make any fuss. Hmm. 
an additional closet because you can. Oh. oh. Lovely. I think I've not got enough furniture, you know. <gasps> this one's way better. No. Ah, oh, I lost the cool pattern that was on it. Maybe if I do this, it'll be back. Damn it. Oh, this bed's way better. This one's even better. You've been relegated to not as good. Beds her tables don't match, but worth it. It's giving blood sucking, exactly. Exactly. Well, so I need a table and some chairs. Okay. And that one is covered in um right let's just get a table and some chairs and then i mean that's the spookiest looking table With some chairs in here. There we are. I've got to add some curtains as well. But that's a job for in a minute. Do you think a, a vampire would like want a TV? You know, it's got to be inside all day. I'll give him a telly to watch just in case he wants it. Bath. Right. Now, here's we can we can see if we can have a red inside of the bath. That's what we want. A spooky bathtub, please. Yes. Yes. Spooky bathtub is spooky. A shower in this corner. red bathtub i mean that's a shower you know what i meant you know what i meant <laughs> then why yeah. again then why get so defensive happy 420 bbb already my dude's lord 16 dab we at the hotel motel holiday inn so here are some hotel jokes ready to check in Thank why you. did the witch stay in a hotel why she heard they had great room service very good ha 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 how does a hotel room taste 
Sweet. Hi E. What do you call a motel in the middle of a cornfield? What? A maze inn. Ho ho ho. Yes. What is the biggest hotel in Estonia? Vitorlin. Ha ooh ooh. -oo. What happens when you stay in too many hotels? You become independent. Hi who. Moggy Hotel. In oh, you had to read that one. Yeah. You had to read that one for it to work. Beep 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 hotel beep 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 vampire beep 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 true crime beep 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 day call beep 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 true crime hotel blaze it. Thank you for the 420 blips, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Kind of weird, but hey, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> what I can really appreciate myself is that regardless of if I'm having a good time with the game or not, I'm nearly always just lazy because I just never, never can be asked to make things look good because I know that I simply do not have the ability to do so. Gosh, I'm inside the closet. Get out of there! Right, now it's time to add flip loads of candles to this biatch. Right, where is it? That all the candles golden lady fit <laughs> cookie jar plate glass fork spoon That was a giant candle. Are these giant candles? No. Maybe they are. Right. Paintings. A lady and her dog. That. I need some other stuff in black and red, actually. Just realized I've not met that criteria. <laughs> How horrible. Love it. Kind of, kind of, that's kind of a sleigh. This old man. Wants our plant, our plant, this, 
put this next to this, this kind of highly flammable looking plant next to some candles. Seems like a good idea. Haunting. No notes. Um, some sconces. Hold on. I didn't put enough black in it. Well, it's taken it off me now, so. I'd like to book this room. How, how did I do that again? How did I book the room? Guys, I can't remember how to, how to book a room. <laughs> how did I book a room? How do I book a room? Do I have to fast forward? Maybe I have to fast forward. Oh, I have to hold space. Right, okay. I had to, I had to hold a space. Wow. When did it look better? I think before, <laughs> maybe. 500 bucks a day? Nice. Did he like it? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look if he liked it. What does it say? Cleanliness. Hello? What was that noise? Oh. Well, it's not what I expected. However, I noticed the hotel's a basement. Could I have a look inside? Mm. <laughs> mm. It's you, miss. What's up? Let's go to the ground floor and let's go and... Why are they spooked out? Why is room 101 spooked out? Is it because there's a vampire? Very good possibility it's because there's a vampire, but... Does it say why? Scare. Influence. Negative influence. Scare? Is it because of Vlad? Is it because Vlad's here? Well, he's staying for five days, so... What what? Okay. This place is a flipping mess. How's anyone gonna hear James Jenkins singing Limp Biscuit in a place like this? They'll all be saying it's just one of those days. And then what are we to do? <sighs> I know it's a little bit vampire racist actually. You're right. Wow, this is the perfect place for James Jenkins to sing. He'd love it here. Well, look, there's an outside. Is that my outside? Hold on. Hold on. Do I have to do something with this room? Do 
Do I have to go and clean it, do you think? Maybe I have to go and clean it? Don't know. Oh well. Wait, this isn't the disco? Oh, this isn't even the disco. Where's the disco? Where's the disco? You, where is the disco? Oh, this is the spooky basement. Please don't turn on the light. I can see just fine. The interior is dark and damp, just I prefer. And what's in this chest? Um, a special item. It's a bellhop uniform. Interesting. The badge says Roy. That's Gram. Okay. This chest is much more comfortable than the bed. I think I will stay here. I'll pay you for the room, of course. Don't fret. Thank you for your understanding. Okay. <laughs> well, great. We killed two birds with one stone. While our strange guest sleeps in the chest, our new customer can stay in room 103. We doubled our income. Yay. Let us close that door and pretend that weird thing didn't happen. Now, where is the disco? Hi, I'm Celine from the Horizons. You, you might, it's behind my head, sorry. You might have heard our single, Destroy. We'd love to record a video in your lobby while you, while you smash up the place. Hold on, I have to find the disco. Maybe the disco's on the first floor? Wouldn't be on, oh. Maybe the disco is on where D, where it says D. D for dis, yeah, D for disco. Is everyone ready to see where James Jenkins will perform? Where James Jenkins will sing his tunes. Wow. Oops. Just imagine it. Imagine it. It's all different. And up there, it's James Jenkins singing his little heart out. God, don't have to take a while to smash stuff up, doesn't it? Wow. That's great. Let's, um, we'll come back for this. Let's go to the rooftop garden. We killed two guests with one stone. Exactly. Exactly. It's great news. The penthouse floor. Oh, Celine's staying in our vampire room. And that means that they're happy because there's a famous person in the hotel. Love. Ah, oh, well, this is lovely. Let's do this. It's also much smaller than the disco. The disco felt immediately overwhelming. Just smash it up. Don't sell anything. Smash it all. Ka-chow! Ka-chow! Oh. Ugh. Yeah, I would like a chainsaw. You're right. Chainsaw would be well fun. I don't know why I would, what I would need a chainsaw for, but it would be good to have the option. Okay, Google, when do you get 
the flamethrower in Hotel Renovator. Huh. Boff. Boff. Eh. I'm auditioning for another play this week. Don't you know? I thought I'd tell you about it, actually. Why not? While I'm doing this, while I'm smashing all this stuff up, I've decided that I've got the bug now. I've remembered why I love theatre so much. And therefore, you're going to keep me out of that place. I'm going to be bothering everyone. They're going to be like, oh, that Ashton, she auditions for everything. I wish she'd just stop. And to that I say, never. You can't make me. So get ready for me to be tired all of the time. Not quite a working actor. I'm not getting paid, but I'm having a good time nonetheless. It's just been such a long time since I've done a show and like rehearsed and done acting. And it just felt really nice to be back on my bull flip doing it again. It was good, man. For such a while. An actor who is working. OMG. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's more correct. But I just feel like do you know, do you know what? So I was I was on I say obviously I may not have known this unless you saw it on Twitter. But um Tom off of Cultaholic, who we know and love. There's a show on BBC Radio Newcastle every now and then. Uh, and uh, he had me on to talk about the show. And I said on that show that it's really hard to meet people when you're an adult. Like, how do you make friends as an adult? It's really hard. But I've made so many lovely friends in the last few weeks because everyone's got similar interests and you're all kind of thrust together for like six weeks. Uh and you're together like three nights a week for the course of six weeks you make you become friends that's why people are friends at school because you're forced into a room together and you have to make friends but it's so hard to make friends as an adult and it's been lovely to have friends that aren't boys <laughs> because all of my friends in newcastle are boys every single one of them you know basically all of them they are my only friends here so it's been lovely to have friends that aren't boys. It's been I make new friends who are boys, but also friends who are girls. Ah, oh, amazing. I saw something online the other day for International Women's Day that said um, that having female friendships as a single woman makes it really hard to form a relationship with a man because women's friendships are so like deep and intense and meaningful that sometimes it makes having a relationship with a man even harder because it, you, you compare it to your relationship with your female friends. And that feels very correct because I feel like the way that women interact with each other is so different to how men interact with each other. And so it's quite interesting. There's, there's some psychology in it, but I'm not even gonna try. But like, I'll talk to the lads and th I'll see them have conversations and not just Fred and Peter, this is like all men I've ever met in my whole life. And they have a conversation and it's like they've discussed nothing. Like they'll walk away from the conversation being like, that was good. And you're like, what did you learn? 
what did you learn from that conversation? And normally they're like, oh, we just talked about X hobby or so-and-so's like game that they've been playing. And there's nothing wrong with that because I talk about that as well. But it's very interesting because I'm like, I will find out more information about my female friends or strangers who are women in the course of like a five minute conversation than most men know about their male, like other male friends from having been friends with them for like actual years. Like crazy. I'm not divorcing my Ben, no. Never. I'd have to get married first. Us men aren't properly socialized. I find it really interesting, you know. I do think it's very interesting how different conversations are when women have them versus when men have them. It's like, sometimes my boyfriend will be like, oh, so-and-so's getting married or so-and-so have broken up. And you're like, oh my God, what happened? And they haven't talked about it. They haven't like explained to you. They're like, oh, I don't know. And I'm like, what do you mean you do? If my friend told me she broke up with her boyfriend, I'd be like, oh my, what happened? Tell me everything. Even like people who aren't necessarily a close friend, if they were like, oh, me and so-and-so broke up, I'd be like, oh my God, are you all right? Like what happened? But they just, they just don't have those conversations. And I think it's very strange. I could never imagine having, like being close friends with someone and just not knowing anything about them. Like if that's what you're happy doing, obviously I'm not gonna be like weirdos, but I just think it's very interesting seeing how different, different like relationships are. Anyway, that's what I was thinking about this week. What were you guys thinking about this week? Anything, anything more interesting than that? Less interesting? And I love how there are women on TikTok slash Instagram doing a whole video series to explain men to other women, like I'm a man. And I feel so simple. It feels so simple to understand, yeah. I know all I could want to know about other men. Like for example, how I can differentiate them from the other men I know. Well, hey, it's, if people are happy, like obviously I'm not saying like you need to ask all your, your male friends more information about their lives. Who am I to tell you what to do? I'm just a girl on the internet who's haphazardly rebuilding a hotel. Um, but I just think it's very interesting. I just think it's very, yeah, kind of wild about the difference in in socializing between men and women. I'm thinking about how weird it is that girls ask so many questions like shut up or some of your business. But it's not, people aren't being nosy. They're just making conversation and like checking in and like being polite. That's what I read it as. When I ask questions, it's always like, because I'm, I'm interested in that person and I want to know. Like it's never being like, tell me everything about your life. Like, no, it's just, it's interesting to get to know people around you and it's, it's, I think it's kind to ask questions. I think it's kind to show interest in people's lives. And I'm always flattered when people ask me questions. Obviously there's like a line that you draw. Like if I'm a stranger, I'm not gonna ask them about like what they do in the bedroom or when the last time, you know, they spoke to their mum is. But I just think it's kind to ask questions. It's a lot more casual insults with the boys. It's always a bit ribbing. Well, I rib I take the piss out of my friends all the time. But I also know everything about them. So if anything, the the way I take the piss out of my friends is even more brutal because I know everything about them.
Kindness is drinking in silence. Sounds boring. This may sound weird, but I've learned more about women from the few friends, female friends I have during college. Social women are so much different to social women. Men also, they were okay with me asking certain questions. Absolutely. I just think, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a funny, funny difference, isn't it? The sound written rule that when the other guy has a drink in to his face, it's your turn to talk. I never wait for my turn to talk anyway, so those kind of rules don't apply to me. I talk whenever I want because I have no way of keeping the, the thoughts inside. I was a bit drunk the other day and I told my boyfriend on the way home, I said, I don't think I've ever thought something and not said it out loud. And then he said, yeah, we can tell. <laughs> and, you know, to be known is to be seen. And I am seen by my boyfriend uh, in the sense that I have no filter whatsoever. And I never understand why people don't just say what they feel and say what they want to say. And I still don't understand it. I still don't get it. Boys aren't allowed to be vulnerable. I don't think that's true. I think there needs to be a shift. And the only people that can shift it are the boys trademark. Because I think boys can be vulnerable. And I think everybody benefits when people are vulnerable, including the boys. Can we talk about how much I want a pencil that decorates? But I know this would be so convenient and one brush that just like sweeps away all of the dirt. Ah, oh, the dream, truly the dream. I want a Roomba purely because I don't want to have to do um, my hoovering. I find it very annoying. I also think the cats would be scared of it and I think that would be very funny.
As when we go up and down stairs or hoover the stairs. Oh, hoovering the stairs is always a real bitch. We had like one of those little handheld ones um, that we used to use, but unfortunately like it just kept <laughs> kept running out of battery before we even got up like three stairs. Rimba's great until it runs over a cat poop. Well, luckily, I'm at the point... My cat's at the point in their lives where they don't poo on the floor anymore. Which is good, because I would flipping kill them. I need to decorate the garden. Where's... Ah, oh, here. Put some plants in this garden, eh? Can't have a rooftop garden without more plants. There's barely any plants in this room. Spending so much money on this rooftop garden. This thing. I refuse to acknowledge people actually have to use this place and I'm just gonna stick stuff in the way that in my mind would be moved if in the way. <sighs> there we are, one lovely rooftop garden. Lovely. Five stars. Five stars, did you see that? Five stars. It costs a thousand a day. Oh. Doesn't cost a thousand a day. Slate. Right. Uh, let's go to the ground floor. Oh, I have to press F. I can't just click on the button. So do you think you'll be tra 
treading the theatrical boards again. Yeah, I was just saying a minute ago that I'm gonna audition for another one very soon and potentially another one that's coming up if I don't get that one because I've just, I've really enjoyed it and it's been lovely. And I, uh, I think I might do it again. If given the opportunity, of course. There's no telling I might actually get the opportunity, but hey, a gal can hope. Um, where? Oh, here. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Oh wait, is it not in here? Where is it then? Add microphone stand. Where is the microphone stand? Maybe in the disco section? Cool, a balloon arch. Stickers special? Ghost trap, fun. Oh, here we are. That's the electric guitar. Can do. A camera. God, that's flipping massive. Oh. And a mic stand. Mm mm mm. Ah, oh, thanks, Forgotten Media. That's not going to happen anytime soon, but. Yeah, Val, uh, Valda went and got in a, in a box in a basement. I feel like I may have put some stuff in your way there. Miss, I aimed the microphone the wrong way. I'm, I'm apologies. Are they just going to keep playing until I destroy everything in the lobby? All right, I could I could leave them in here forever, just in perpetuity, just never destroy everything in the lobby. Smash, smash, smash. Uh, smash. I don't know if my guy's actually playing his guitar. No one's going to believe you're actually playing that, sir. Can I sing? Not really. No. I can hold a tune. Somewhat, depending on the song. I was always told I was an alto when I was in school. But I never um, sung very well uh, to get a part in any of the musicals. It's not really my... Uh, I'm not very good at it. I also can't dance, which just doesn't help. Just kick a grenade. Hey, now. Just... Oh. You're truly the master of disasters. This video is going to rock. Oh, we've got a new skill. What's our new skill? What was our new skill? Do I get to... Damn it! I didn't... I didn't look at the, what my new skill was! Oh, look at this mess! You better start renovating the lobby right away! Oh, okay. She kicked a flipping grenade around. What am I supposed to do, you know? That's true, my dulcet tones are enshrined forever in the Triple Jump Christmas single. However, um, I I had, I was really didn't want to do that. <laughs> I was like, I know that no one's going to really hear me over Ben and Peter, but I thought Peter's going to have to hear me. And I felt incredibly uncomfortable about it. But, hey. Hey. 
we um we did it. Just rap on stage. I heard that's hip and cool. I could I could probably rap. But yeah, I um I can't really sing. I wouldn't like be like, yeah, I can sing, and I would never feel confident in uh doing a uh, a musical. Absolutely not. Well, I if I did a musical, there's absolutely no way I'd get a part. So like a main part anyway. So I've just never bothered. I say never. Ever since I was an adult, I've not bothered. I also always get really nervous. Acting, I'm like, I don't get nervous with as much for auditions anymore. But singing makes me feel physically sick when it comes to auditioning. Because I feel as though I am terribly bad at it. And it's never nice to do things you're bad at. So I choose not to do it. Dance Dance Revolution at, at an arcade in the hardest difficulty. That's not dancing though, that's just getting your brain and your feet to react quick enough to uh, whatever nonsense it's throwing at you. For which that I definitely cannot do. My brain doesn't react quick enough to anything. Does that look good? Sure. I haven't seen my cats in a while. I'll stop streaming soon, make sure they're alright. I'll be off being absolute menaces somewhere, like they always are. up during a show you just kind of got to go for it you just got to kind of live your life and hope for the best because no one else knows the words unless they do but you just gotta if you flub up who cares as long as you get on the right gist and you get there in the end and your scene partner is there to save you should you mess up there's absolutely nothing wrong with messing up a little bit of a monologue i think it all I was at a 40 minute performance my degree and I, uh, on my own. And I, uh, I was really winging it towards the end there. I'd completely forgotten what I was supposed to do, but turned out all right in the end. Got 2-1 at least, so can't argue with that too much. Is that guy still in the basement, do you think? The magical pencil. Well, I should probably wrap the stream up, really, shouldn't I? Seeing as it is 7.05 and I do need a wee and also to have some dinner just been having such a nice time hanging out with you all and also this game is one of those head empty play games kind of situation um but anyway i will stop streaming now i promise 
but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I've had a wonderful time. I always love to hang out with you lot. Always. I'm going to send you over to the boys over at Cultaholic who are playing some football manager because of course they are. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. We're playing some plate up on stream. That's all very exciting, isn't it? Um, and then James is off this week. So he won't be streaming on Friday. The next week I'll be back next Wednesday. Should all be well, which hopefully it will be. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful evening, afternoon or sleep, whatever it is you're going to be doing with the rest of your day. And I will see you very, very soon. All right. Love you. Bye bye.